so we've created our first planet. It's a, I would call it a cloudy gas planet. It's really, it's featureless. We chose a nice color blue for it. Uh, you can choose any color that you'd like. You can try this blue or, or anything else, but we need to make another one. So we need eight planets total, three rocky planets at least. Uh, the rest can be gas planets. We need one planet with rings. So let's make another gas planet. We'll just make another cloudy one. We'll just change the color. So that's the simplest thing that we can do to make a, a different unique planet. So we have our PSD document here that we already saved. Make sure you save it. So here's the file name. This is how you know you saved it. You've, you've uh, got .psd here, and that is a Photoshop file that preserves layers. We want to preserve all of our layers. We'll go ahead and go to File, Save As. We'll just change the name to, uh, we'll just change the one to a two. So we're now saving a new file. Just make sure layers is checked and it's a Photoshop format. Okay, so now we're on our second planet. So let's choose our planet layer. Here's our planet layer. We can see that if we toggle the visibility, it, the planet turns on and off. We have a smart layer here. So we have our smart filters and effects. And we want to be able to change the color of this planet. But let's make a copy first. We're not going to work on this one exactly. So let's go ahead and drag our layer down to the um, new layer icon. And on our copy, we're going to right click and choose rasterize layer. Now let's lock our transparent pixels. Go to edit, fill, choose a different color. So maybe since we have a blue planet, maybe a red planet would, would be cool. So choose a nice red or any color that you would like. Now we have a red gas planet. Now we did lose some of our, <clears throat> we lost our Gaussian blur and our glow effects because in order for us to lock the transparent pixels, which what that means is that if I were to um, unlock this or deselect that and then I, then I chose edit fill went to color and chose a red and hit OK that would fill our entire document so the transparent pixels ignores the pixels that have no color on them already which was everything outside of our planet on that layer and lets us select only uh, lets us affect only those that do have the pixels. And we can't do that to a smart object. So let's Command Z to undo that. Okay, so we, in order for us to apply these effects to our new layer, we need to convert this to a smart object. So let's right click, convert to smart object, and then we can hold option to copy or actually we don't even have to hold option because we're going to delete this original planet layer so we'll just click and drag to our new uh, red planet layer uh, let's make sure we get the effects and the filters and then just delete our original or trash our original Okay, so let's test to see if we have the effects working, yep, and the blur. Yeah, it's very subtle, but it's there. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, so we're good. So 
we already have our second gas planet. So we already renamed this document, so let's hit Command S to save. And then again, for each one of our planets, we're going to need to save a JPEG version. We want to keep our original layered version in case we have to go back and make changes. But uh, let's make our JPEG. Make sure it sets so a JPEG, maximum quality, hit save, and then just save that in your same folder. So what you'll end up with uh, is uh, one layered PSD file for each planet. and then one JPEG for each. But again, you'll only turn in the JPEG, so you'll probably want to make a copy of this folder. Maybe just rename it, or, or uh, name it again. And then when you're all finished, when you have all eight planets, all eight JPEGs, just drag your JPEGs to the new folder and that will be the one that you zip and submit.